Hey, how's it going, guys? So, welcome to another episode of our YouTube channel, guys. I would like to introduce ourselves. Uh, here is my wife, Amanda, my beautiful wife, Amanda. Hey, I'm Luis. Uh, so, yeah, welcome. Welcome again to our, another adventure, another experience or of, the, or of daily life, guys. Yeah, so before we get into the video of uh, our concert experience, I just want to let you know that we have a lot of different uh, social media accounts that we post regularly. He posts a lot of drum covers and I just post a bunch of random stuff. We have TikTok and Instagram, so we'll list those links in the description below. But let's get into it. Yeah, uh, don't forget to subscribe, follow for more content and... See you guys. Thumbs up. So we went to go see the Dead Men and Dragons tour. Um, this was on November 8th, 2022. We saw Trivium between the Buried and Me, White, White Chapel. Chapel. And we missed Chemist, but yeah. Chemist was there. Yes. Yeah. Um, this was at Sunshine Theater in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And it was a great experience. Let's get it into it. It was an amazing it. experience, guys. Yeah. We're going to go through it, so... I hope you guys enjoy it as much as we enjoy that concert. Yeah, it was an amazing concert, yeah. but we'll get into it right now. There we are, Sunshine Theater. Walking in, not knowing what to expect. A full house, barely any room for us to squeeze in. We were kind of just stuck on the stair path yeah, for a long time. By the time we, we got there, it was a lot of people. It was crowded. Yeah, place. we missed chemists, like I said, um, and Whitechapel was already in progress. But yeah, I had yeah. to get a, we had to get a clip of some moshing, mosh well, yeah. some mosh action. It was really nice to see what Chapo. I I really want to see what Chapo. Uh, I, I was expecting to see the whole show of them, but well, we made it like uh, like yeah. at the end of. What, I don't know what, how many songs were in this, but yeah, probably like five or four either. It was still a good experience. We were inching our way closer to the front, but um, I I say we got, had a pretty good view. A, a lot of tall people out there in Albuquerque. A tall people. Yeah. <laughs> and big people. Yeah. <laughs> we were trying to make our way to the front. Any chance we got, anybody moved, let's go. But. It was definitely yeah, a I don't, cool I don't experience. know how, but she is always like, oh, we're gonna get into the front, and I don't know, we end in the front. <laughs> we, oh, I am determined to get to the front. Yeah. I need to see the sweat on these artists' face. Like, the, <laughs> the spit, the spit, the sweat. Oh, there's, I need to see the spit coming out of their mouths every time they sing. Yeah, that's definitely what I want to experience. This smell the... The sweat of <laughs> mud. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of all the bands, to be honest. But yeah, it was really cool. It was hot. It was nice. We got a couple more left for you. But before we do that, I want to send a special shout out to Trivia for putting Ooh. this tour together for us. Thanks so much. They, they sound very clean, like, the sound was really nice. Well, uh, first time uh, watching a show at Sunshine was a really nice experience. That place is... Oh, this I was your first time at huge. Sunshine, no? Yeah, it's huge. Wow. The place is huge. Yeah, they there's have a, a balcony there's on There's a balcony, yeah, mm -hmm. there's a balcony. I forgot I this was your VIP. first time. No. I don't know. I um, I think I had went to a concert and you can go up there. It's like 21 and over, I think. Um, but I'm not entirely sure. We didn't experience it. I was more focused on getting into the front, like we said. But um, if you want to miss the band, go up yeah. to the top. Hey, also, guys, let us know how many times you you have watched what Chapel. Yeah, put in the comments. Or if you've been to Sunshine Theater, what concert did you see there last? I think they came. They came last, like um, that same year they came. I think they came. I'm super excited. This is my favorite part. Well, oh, well besides Trivium. Right now, guys, uh, this is between the board and me. Uh, 
Uh, I was so yeah. stoked to see Between the Buried and Me. I yeah. have always wanted to see Between the Buried and Me. Um, yeah, I think it's we, we both is our first time watching yeah. Between the Buried and Me. I was super obsessed with the album Colors. Um, I was kind of disappointed that nobody was jamming as hard as I was. Like yeah. I felt like I was the only one going so hard, jumping around, yeah, and everybody good. was standing there. I'm yeah. like, oh my god, they deserve so much more. Well, I was standing there. <laughs> but yeah, the, the band, super tight, super, like an amazing performance. It was amazing. I was impressed, like, especially like this, the drummer. Ooh, wow, like I think it's Vegas Richardson, his name. He's a, he has a he with drum set. He has like three toms on top of the of the other toms, of the acoustic toms. Yeah, very clean show. Like, he plays amazing. He also has those. Those like plastic things, I don't know what, what it's called, the, the, the material. I'm not sure. Acrylic, I think oh, it's acrylic. Probably, yeah. Oh yeah, to the because, front. Because like, like oh, acrylic, okay. uh, like, I, I, I don't know, like. I totally cool. wish that I could go back and relive that moment because it was amazing. But I love that you're nerding out on the drum stuff. That's really uh, cool. I say I love that you're nerding out on the drum stuff. I le- learning? Nerding out, like oh, yeah, yeah. going into detail about it. Um, it, the performance was just as amazing as the album. Like it sounded perfect. Like it was an, an amazing performance. Um, I really wish that I went to that color tour um, because I could only imagine how awesome that concert would have been. It was so good. His voice is just as amazing. It's intense. It's crazy. They're going crazy now. I really just wanted to like make people jump at this moment because they deserved such a hype yeah I think I was really uh, more paying attention of all the the part they have like amazing parts that they have songs like are like seven minutes eight minutes it's crazy it's it's like you're like you're watching a movie like like the music is going through like a movie they, they have a I wish that I would have recorded more of like the songs that are like my favorite, but I was also trying to enjoy the experience. Yeah. Because um, I, you know, just like I said, I really wanted to see Between the Buried and Me for such a long time that I kind of just wanted to enjoy the experience. Also, also well, they play a lot. Like, I was, I <laughs> it was, was a long performance. I think they play more like at least a, an hour of a show. Yeah. Uh, was, yeah, it's an hour because I, I I was I was a little bit tired. <laughs> Plus, we had just gotten off uh, work and we like rushed over here as soon as we got off of work. So yeah, it was already tiring. But I think Matt from Trivium mentioned that it was going to be a long show because not only does Between the Berry and Me have such long songs, Trivium also kind of does have long songs too, right? Like, yeah, but I think... Not as long as theirs, I don't think. It's just intense how like... how... Oh. how like much stamina like say for instance the drummer had. Yeah, like those it's like non like, sound like perfect. I'm not sure if he's playing with triggers on the kick drums. On the kick drums, sorry, because he just got he just got one kick drum. But it's, he sounds so clean. He's like he's like how he played. It's amazing, amazing drummer. Well, all of them are amazing musicians, but yeah, I was just I was trying to watch. 
did from the how how he was playing the show. And, uh, it was liter it was like so hypnotizing like seeing it was like an amazing like the sound of the drums was like on another level though. Yeah. Oh, it makes me like smile so hard because I that was such an amazing concert. I wish that I could go back. These guitars are super tight. I think the the bass player also he, he's playing uh keyboard. Oh here's Tim Kelly 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 Keller? Tim I don't Keller. Know his name. He's the metal mayor like, of Albuquerque or New Mexico. Albuquerque? I don't know. I'm not really into politics, but he is friends, I am, I guess, with Trivium. So um, when I saw Trivium last time, he also did an intro for them. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Yeah. He was, he, he's such a big fan. He's, yeah, he's a big fan. He's the major the of mayor, Albuquerque. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's yeah. cool. Huh? I mean, like, he's like, oh, I'm going to watch my, my And voice. look at... Look at how many microphones are on yeah. that stage. Like, I think there, are, there are five. Five uh, microphones. One, two, three, four, five microphones. I, I love this setup that they have because when I previously watched them, um, Matt would like go to the side and then, you know, do his solos and then have to go back to the middle. So it was kind yeah. of like a quick visit. He plays, yeah, he's singing like he's interacting with so all much. the people. Like he's he's such a, a, an amazing frontman. Yeah, he's an amazing performer. I I guess that just has to do with like his. Um, I mean, obviously he's been an artist for such a long time, and then he also does streaming on Twitch and also yeah, YouTube. Yeah, well. And notice we made our way to the front. Yeah. <laughs> Not quite to the barrier yet, but we made it there towards the end. Don't worry. So we just got, got to give an honorable mention to the dragon statues that are blocking our view of the drummer. Um, I understand that it's like for the decor and the vibe of their um, dead men. How is it? Dead, dead men and dragons and tour Snow, kind yeah. of like decor dead. or set um, experience? But I wish they. I mean, they're really cool looking. They're really awesome. They're they're huge. And in that aspect, if you're on the side, your view is very limited. Yeah. Very limited. Yeah, sculptures. Dragon sculptures. We're on our on our way. Especially I was trying we were trying to Yeah. To also check out the drummer. What, what's his name? Alex Ben. Alex Ben, yeah. Yeah. We were trying well of course like I love to watch his um, drum throughs and um, I was really looking forward to seeing him perform live. Um, I did see him last time, but still, those statues, just gotta say. But they, they, they're, they're, they're really cool, you know? They're really cool, they're really but cool. I just like, wish they didn't obstruct I, I, their view. I, I wonder how much are the weight of those Oh, things. I know. Yeah. I wonder if they're like hollow inside. Could you imagine? Yeah, I don't to know. To make it easier? Like, like They have a, a, a nice decoration of the stage. Oh, yeah, like the their black stage. Of the Dead Men and Drums. I think that, yeah. The, also, the drum set, it's really nice how it has, like, you say the. Like a pedestal? Yeah, like, like a sort of tarima one. Yeah. Like a rising? Yeah. Riser? It's like with the dragon, the drum like, it's gold, it's made of like, gold, red. It's a huge. I just wonder if Corey's neck hurts or if he just has muscle in his neck for doing all that head yeah, fucking banging. Have muscles, yeah. <laughs> you know, tour just head banging every day. Head banging every day, the strongest neck muscles in the world. Have you seen like Corey Taylor's neck? 
Oh, it's no, good. Not really. <laughs> I just he, love. He made weight with his. Hit his neck <laughs> to be able to headbang harder. <laughs> I just love these side microphones, though. What a great incorporation for yeah, their show. Yeah, such a great idea. No? Like, yeah. Uh, I think he's. Um, I think at some point he's watching. Like I don't know. He's looking kinda, directly like, in the to, camera. To your camera. Yeah, he's like, I know this is gonna be a badass video. I just know it. The horns, the yeah. tongue. Yeah. <laughs> That's Matt for sure. The horns and tongue. Like, <laughs> See, they're throwing some pee. Is <laughs> <laughs> there a bag of pee? A this bag of pee. <laughs> <stadiums. laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go. It's not done yet. Oh, no, still has a lot. Oh, we, we still have some. But it's okay. We'll more just... content, more, more content to show you guys on the console. I love you. I love you. We've been on this Dead Men and Dragons tour for almost nine weeks now. And right now, my friends, the best crowd we've seen all tour long has been Montreal French Canada. I just said the best crowd we've seen all tour long has been Montreal French Canada. I think Albuquerque, New Mexico can be yeah. Yeah. The sin in the sentence, yeah. Damn, did you see that jump though? That was intense. He jumped hardcore. Look at him. He has so much fucking energy though. Like, every day. But he's like super fit now. Yeah, he's like he does he's into jiu jitsu. Black belt, black belt in jiu jitsu. I think so. Oh, it got crazy because I was like ready to watch it. I hope you guys are headbanging in your houses. <laughs> How could you not headbang or like jam to this song though? It's such a good one. I was trying so hard not to sing on the video because I hate my singing voice when I'm recording and I can hear myself. Sing it from the bottom of your heart right now. <laughs> no. You're a great singer, she's a great singer, and she's a little bit shy just right now in the camera. <laughs> Thank you. Video quality is super good though. Yeah. <laughs> Just so you guys know, we, we are recording with, with our cell phones. So, pretty good 
quality. Pretty good quality. I, I, the sound, I, I think, it's, it's good too. Huh? The sound is good. The technology these days, gotta say. So I hope do you guys enjoy it as we as we enjoy it. Yeah. We really have a, a really fun time fun time even like we we I couldn't see like Whitechapel like the whole concert. Like, but anyways we made it to the front, like that was the purpose of, of, of my, of my, my wife. My <laughs> and yeah, I don't know how she made it but yeah, I just follow her. She was like, "Yo, just follow me." Yeah, she was grabbing, and I was like him. running up behind her. <laughs> just the the second I found a spot, just grab him and let's yeah, go. Like, <laughs> yeah, just come right now. I'm yeah. If there wasn't room, I'm sorry to whoever was in the crowd next to us, but I was determined to be in the front. I'm always determined to yeah, be in the front. Yeah, but there was another girl who was trying to solo a spot or no? I yeah. know. Yeah. Well, yeah, there was another person. And, you know, like, typically, you know, if you're in the front, you know, people try to push into your thing. I mean, just as I did to get to the front, somebody yeah. else is trying to do the same thing. So once I'm in the front, there's no pushing me out of that front spot because I'm staying there. So um, I know. I, I will literally fight some no. I, I know. Yeah. <laughs> he I, experienced I, I, yeah. it when we went to go see the use of yeah. man. I was ready to throw down. Yeah. I was not gonna miss that front spot. I needed yeah, to see we them. Didn't miss, we didn't miss it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, um yeah, I hope that you did enjoy this show as we did. This was a great experience. I'm so happy that I got to see you between the buried and me. I hope you guys enjoyed our experience and hopefully you enjoyed the front view, the front row view of Trivium. Trivium. Um, true. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. Hey, also, guys, if you uh, let us know, like, your experience uh, about, uh, if, well, it, it was our first time uh, seeing Trivium. So, yeah, if you guys have watched Trivium between the Buried and me, let us know in the comments below. So, and did how you was go to that your, concert? your experience or if you, if you made it to this concert, I hope you guys, well, I don't think you're going to be in the video, but... <laughs> you might see yourself in the pit though Pro probably yeah, yeah, the first, I, yeah. Did. I did record some we crowd here and there with, with chapel yeah. so yeah let us know like how how, how was your experience in in this in the show especially like the sunshine theater yeah and also in the comments below let me know if you enjoy when bands ask you to get on the floor to jump oh, up oh i I remember that. Yeah, because that is literally she doesn't my like pet it. peeve. I, hate I think it's that. cool. I, think I don't it's cool. think it's cool because I think that everybody's trying to do it and it's such a cramped space. We're already well, in yeah, that, yeah, especially that in the front. It's not like a good. good it's idea. not too good. It's not a good idea to, to <laughs> do that in the front because we, we we wouldn't be able to even yeah. like go down. Like, but they're waiting. They're like, hurry and get on the floor. Yeah. Get on the floor, and you better jump up. Yeah. So I mean, I just resented them a little bit. But yeah. do you like that? That's one of my biggest pet peeves. Um, also, yeah. I mean, I think that that was a great experience, and hopefully, you follow us on our next adventure, our next shows, our next trip, whatever we yeah, end up for, doing. For in this our year, life. we have like a couple of shows that are gonna be really oh, yeah. crazy. Yeah. We're not gonna say it right now, but we already have the tickets and everything. Yeah. So. So we're excited yeah. to get that experience, as well as some other experiences. We we travel here and there. So. Yeah. Um, definitely be on the lookout for that. But, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Thank you guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to support us. Uh, follow on our social media. Follow us for more content. Uh, it's a pleasure to always hear uh, what do you guys uh, want to hear from, from us. Yeah. 
Yeah, so let us know. Yeah, we we, we really enjoyed ourselves. Uh, follow follow our daily life experience in nuestras aventuras locas. <laughs> yeah, we are always doing something cool. Right. Yeah. Cool yeah. and crazy. Cool and crazy. Yeah. So yeah. Catch us next time. Bye, guys. Bye.